Hey, Sally, thank you so much for joining um, me for a cup of tea. I'm Rachel and I work on professional development for the Youth Leadership Council's programming. And today I'm joined with Sally, who is a YLC facilitator. Thanks for meeting with me. Hi, Rachel. I'm so happy to share a cup of tea with you. Great to Have see you. Work. Awesome. So which Youth Leadership Council are you a part of? I am a part of Jaya Just As I Am Youth Leadership Council. So what is your YLC currently working on this year? Currently, we have an internship. It's called Healthy Minds, Healthy Vibes, um, Wellness and Healing Justice Internship. We are working on mental health literacy and advocacy. Our young people are going to be creating a social media campaign where they are reaching out to traditionally underserved and marginalized populations, confronting the, mis the misinformation and stigma about mental health and mental illness. And we're also going to co-create an adult youth conference in May uh, where our young people will co-facilitate that. They're going to create it with us and co-facilitate it as well. Again, to um, parents are often the gatekeepers and don't recognize that their young people are suffering. So we're going to try and, and um, break down some of that stigma and misinformation about mental health and the services that are available. That's great. And that is so needed in these times. So share a highlight from your YLC. Uh, so this year during the pandemic has been challenging for everyone. We were able to, just before the pandemic, in February of 2020, uh, present the Healthy Minds, Healthy Vibes three workshop series live to a high school in Brooklyn. And then we were able to create a virtual Healthy Minds, Healthy Vibes workshop series and presented that virtually in December to another high school. And our young people, um, our co-facilitators, um, who happens to be our, our chairperson of the Youth Council, um, she did an amazing job of facilitating this workshop. And um, when I think of how she's grown as a person, it's just remarkable. She came to us three years ago, so shy, hardly speaking. And now she presents, she creates, she's um, graduating from college with a dual degree. She's applying to graduate school. It's really marvelous, really marvelous to see her personal growth and to, to have been a part of that as well. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And it really just speaks to the work that happens in Jaya and in YLC and how transformative this process is. Mm -hmm. um, how, as a facilitator, how has it been to see, you know, the growth of your YLC, your council, and your youth members? Oh, for me, it's been such a thrill. Um, this year, we have 17 young people in our internship, which is amazing, considering we recruited during the pandemic. Um, the seeing, even in a few short weeks, the last six weeks, their, their growth, their enthusiasm, their um, their own leadership abilities growing and growing and to have been a part of that and again to have created this space, this safe place on Zoom for them to share, for them to bring some of their own um, challenges, some of their own fears and doubts and to know that it's okay and also to be able to give them real tools to help them regulate their emotions, help them to, to weather what's going on for them, um, and, and to bring their, you know, all of this to a safe split, safe place. Um, it's, it's been very gratifying, and um, 
you know, I've enjoyed it tremendously. I'm so glad, Sally. And thank you for all the work that you have done with your YLC. So as we close, what are three words to describe YLC? Um, you use the word transformative and impactful, collaboration. Those are the three words I can think of right now. So Sally, for our last question today, what advice, tips, or best practices do you have for anyone thinking of starting their own youth leadership council? Oh, I would tell that person to just go ahead and do it. The, the kinds of impacts that you can have on young people at every age of your life, at every stage of your own life, it's so important to be um, an askable adult, a reachable adult, a teachable adult, to be that person who maybe doesn't have all the answers, but at least is willing to be in there, ask the questions, learn, grow, work together. Um, it, that's, that's a piece that you can get to, um, and, and to know that you can still make a difference in young people's lives and learn from them as well. Learn from them and, um, and teach. So really work collaboratively. It's an exciting process. It's, it's very, very worthwhile. Well, Sally, this concludes our interview for today. And so I wanna thank you for spending some time with me, having a quick cup of tea. And I look forward to seeing you at our next month's workshop. Thanks. I look Have a great day. Cheers. You too. Bye.